I'm Ryan Nickel, CTO at DSA, and today I want to show you a real brief overview of Proteus and running your first simulation using a point mass. Alright, when you first open Proteus, you'll notice there's some brief uh, uh, text inputs here for the environmental parameters. There's the tree over here on the, on the left, which shows sort of the general layout of your simulation. Uh, environmental parameters are here. If you click on simulation, there's some basic settings for simulation length, different integration types. The library holds all of the components that we reuse in this particular project. So there will be things in here like material properties for cables and also some hull component features for rigid bodies, things like that. Connections lists all the connection types in between all the entities in the, in the simulation. The entities in the simulation we typically call D objects, short for dynamic objects. These are the things that move around in the simulation. Generally speaking, we want to see how things move around, what the forces and motions are like when we try different kinds of combinations of winds, currents, and waves. Now, to get a sneak peek of what we're going to be constructing, we use the visualizer window. I'm going to move this off to the side here. You can see we've got nothing in our world right now. I'm going to turn on the water surface for a bit of a visual reference. There's our global reference frame that's at the water surface. Uh, the red and the green and the blue means the X and the Y and the Z axis. And note that Z is positive pointing down towards the seabed. Okay, up at the top this is the ribbon. This is where we have some basic controls for creating different kinds of D-objects, um, different features and different connections, and then some basic simulation control. We're going to play with the point mass. It's pretty simple and easy to work with. When you click on that, you can change the name to whatever you want, but we're just going to go with the default. There's not much to it. All it really models is uh, linear X, Y, Z effects, and you'll see there's a little sphere uh, that represents it. It uses this diameter uh, to do the buoyancy calculations and drag calculations acting on that surface, but it's really only looking at those three degrees of freedom. We're going to leave this just the way it is. I note that uh, our most common D objects are here, but if you want to make other D objects, you click on the create menu and you can see a wide number of other things that you can do. Okay, so now if we want to run a real basic simulation, we can use the Runman button here, but first we have to save our project. And in fact, if we haven't saved it yet, Proteus will ask. So we're just going to pick a quick location under simulation, point mass. We'll select this folder, and I'm going to call this load case one. OK. So we didn't change any other parameters. It's running for 60 seconds, and there's not a lot going on because we haven't turned on any environmental effects. But let's just see what happens. A quick way to see what happens is our little built-in processor post PDS. This will open up a brand new window and ask a few questions about what points in time you want to load. We want to load the whole thing, so we'll just go OK. Now we have a rendered view of the entire world. We can see the water surface and our little point mass there. And if we hit play, we can see it bobbling very, very lightly. It should be about 50% submerged because the density was set about uh, uh, 500. So uh, it should be bobbing at the surface there, and it is. So there's not a lot going on there. We'll look at setting environmental parameters in another simulation. The last thing I want to show is if you go to the results folder, you'll see some key outputs. For example, results just shows the first column. There's usually headers at the top that explain what's in the file. Time is in the first column. Velocity and X position, velocity Y, Y position, velocity Z, Z position, all through time. So that's what Proteus is all about. It's time domain analysis to give you an idea of how these things are moving through space. So that's a real big overview of how, what, what what you do with Proteus, the general structure, and running your very first simulation with a point mass. Thanks for watching.